Hi, I'm Dan Resnicek from Pacific Northwest Urology, and today we're going to be discussing hematuria. Hematuria is the medical name for blood in the urine. We typically describe this as either microscopic or gross hematuria. Gross is the word that pathologists use to describe something macroscopic or something that's easily visible without a microscope. This is typically blood that you see yourself in the urine. This is blood that you see yourself in your urine. Microscopic hematuria would be blood that you can't see in your urine, but your physician had sent your urine to look at on the microscope and red blood cells were seen. What are the causes of gross hematuria? Well, first, it's under, important to understand the urinary tract and what goes into making your urine. Okay, so what we have here is the anatomy of the urinary system, first starting with the kidneys on top. The kidneys produce the urine, and the rest of the system is designed to transport the urine out the body. The urine travels through the ureters, the bladder, and the urethra, and then out of the body. So let's first take a look at the kidneys, what's going on internally. The kidneys make the urine of the body, which is uh, a waste products that your body's trying to get rid of. This is all done at the level of a filter, a tiny microscopic filter inside you called the glomerulus. Blood flow comes in, goes through this complicated system, and urine comes out. Once it's out, it then goes into the tubes, which is the urethelial layer. The urethelial layer is a watertight layer around the inner side of that tube, and then surrounding that is a layer of muscle and um, blood and connective tissue. So, in order to get hematuria, blood in your urine, blood has to come either from the kidney filter, the glomerulus, or there has to be damage somewhere down the road to the lining of the tubes. The tubes are a watertight structure, and so in order to get blood in them, there has to be damage to them at some location. So blood, to the filter, blood from the filter or blood from damage to the tubes down below. So let's start up at the top and first talk about glomerulonephritis. This is a cause of hematuria due to inflammation within the kidney itself. Um, this is called a medical or a renal, or sorry, this is called a renal cause of hematuria. And again, looking at the glomerulus where blood is going to get filtered, um, this structure is typically uh, permeable to water, but not permeable to large products like proteins and red blood cells. But through damage to the, the filter for a variety of causes, those start to spill out. So if we look microscopically at what's going on with glomerulonephritis, there are lots of small little holes put in the filter. This can be from inflammation or your body attacking it, and it can also be from infection. Those holes allow blood cells to pass through. So what are some causes of glomerulonephritis? Well, certain drugs can cause a reaction that build up your body's immune system. Infections can cause it. Certain infections are more common than others, like hepatitis or HIV. And vasculitis, inflammation of the small arteries in the body, can also start to attack those filters. Any of those things damage the filter and blood leaks out. So next, let's move on to hematuria, other causes that happen beyond the filter. First, we're going to look at the upper tract, and the upper tract consists of the kidneys and the ureter. And when we look at the kidney causes outside the filter, one of the causes of hematuria is a kidney mass or a tumor. Uh, typically, these are a malignant mass, and they have a lot of blood vessels inside them. Um, these blood vessels are abnormal blood vessels, and they can bleed quite easily. And they can bleed into the urinary tract, and that causes hematuria. They can also bleed outside the urinary tract, which leads to bleeding around the kidney. But if they bleed into the urinary tract, that is one cause of hematuria. Other cause of upper urinary tract hematuria? Well, a common benign cause is a kidney stone. These small rocks get developed um, from a collection of salts in the kidney, and they can be quite sharp. And as your body tries to expel them and push it out, they can scratch the lining of the urethelium and cause bleeding. Now, a kidney stone or bladder stone or urethral stone, all these stones can scratch the lining and cause blood in the urine, but the kidney stone is far and away the most common. Next, when we look at other sources, we can kind of move down to the lower urinary tract, and we see a tumor. So a urethelial tumor here, a bladder cancer. Uh, this is cancer of the lining of the urethelium, and just like that kidney cancer, they can have abnormal blood vessels that are quite fragile, and these can bleed quite easily. Now, urethelial cancer can happen in the bladder, it can happen in the ureters, or in the lining 
of the urothelium in the kidney, but the bladder is the most common. Less commonly, a urothelial tumor can show up also in the urethra, but it is an important cause of hematuria to rule out during a workup. Last, there's a urethral stricture as a lower urinary source. As urine passes through the stricture, the velocity increases. This can cause inflammation and bleeding to the lining of the urethelium. So what are some other causes of hematuria? Well, infections. Infections can happen anywhere in the urinary tract, all the way from the urethra up to the kidney. And as bacteria fight your body and try to get inside, they can cause bleeding. Inflammation. Inflammation here seen with interstitial cystitis. Inflammation is your body fighting itself for whatever reason, and your immune system uh, attacks the lining of the urethelium, which can cause bleeding. Here uh, is seen a cystoscopic view of the urethra with inflammation. So other causes, well, trauma. This person has a, a gunshot wound to the side with a shotgun, clearly can cause hematuria. Other iatrogenic causes of trauma, people placing objects where they're not supposed to be. Well, why are we showing here pictures of runners? Well, running uh, or joggers hematuria is a source of hematuria that we sometimes see in people that are jogging very, very long distances. Um, small little micro trauma incidents can happen and lead to a small amount of hematuria. So next, let's talk about the workup for hematuria. The workup consists of um, two important factors. One is imaging imaging, um, and then the second part is a, an endoscopic evaluation with a camera. So imaging can be performed with a variety of imaging modalities. Um, CT scan is the best imaging modality, but other scans can be helpful, which include an MRI or an ultrasound, and talk to your provider about which one would be best for you. These best evaluate the upper urinary tract. And here we can see with a CT scan, it clearly outlines the anatomy quite well. The next important part of the uh, workup for hematuria is a cystoscopy. And as you can see, or go to one of our other videos that talk about what a cystoscopy is, it's a small camera procedure that evaluates the lower urinary tract. So it's a visual examination and evaluates the urethra and the bladder, and it provides us a picture much better than any imaging test can do with a CT scan, because it can see very small tumors or very small sources of hematuria. So. In conclusion, hematuria has many, many causes. Some are benign and some could be cancerous. Um, because of the possibility of things like cancer, everyone should get a workup for hematuria. Um, this workup should be done with a urologist. A urologist is able to examine um, the bladder and the urethra with a camera and also um, best, uh, best determine what imaging test you should get to complete the workup. Well, that concludes our talk today on hematuria. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. And uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks again.